In watching videos of the storming of the U.S. Capitol, I was struck by how differently the police behaved in this situation when there was an attack on democracy versus during much more peaceful demonstrations for Black Lives Matter. I know there are all kinds of theories of the police behavior during this event and that there are investigations, but it hurt me in my heart to think of this clear evidence of racism in our country. I cried alongside a black, young black mother of three in my workplace who questioned the same. These were aggressive people with weapons and Confederate flags, and yet police were not necessarily responding aggressively. If they had been people of color, there is no doubt that the death rate would have been considerably higher. My siblings and I inherited a pretty strong fairness gene from our parents, which means that situations that are unjust feel negative disproportionately to the actual injustice. The events of the last several months make me appreciate how unjust our society is for people of color and that all of us must actively work to dismantle systemic racism. I don't consider myself an activist and I don't feel like I'm really good at articulating my thoughts, but when I'm talking with others after each of these events, it really has been helpful for helping me sort out my thoughts and to process what I'm feeling. I want to participate in beloved community conversations to figure out what I can do or what we can do as a community. And I hope you'll join me in the conversations for whatever your reasons are. My question for you to consider this week what does it take for police to be trained not to respond aggressively for people of color?